That's all I'm trying to tell you. He don't waste it because you got a big old mountain. He looks at the vessel he about to pour it into. Once he knows that the vessel is sealed, he starts pouring. And a lot of us are working real hard in the house of the Lord or in doing a whole lot of stuff, but we empty. Yeah. And then we get mad at God and we get mad at God's people. Yeah. And we wonder how Jesus could be the only lone, lonesome one on earth and had all the joy in the world. We say because he was the son of God. But that's who we are. But because we won't seal up the cracks, we leaking. We like a gas tank leaking. We like a sieve leaking. leaking. So I just want to help us to understand that we can do the new wine strut, which is to start, if you're in a boat, your boat is leaking. If you go fishing and the boat's leaking, you got to cut the trip short. You can't go out and say, we're going to fish all the way to Hefner and back. You, you got to say, whoa, slow your roll. We got to go plug the boat up. And a lot of Christians, a lot of us, we're trying to row, row all the way to heaven, and the boat's leaking. Amen. I mean, you know, don't feel bad. You're not by yourself. Amen. And the boat just going around in circles, going down, 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 and we wonder what's going on. And, you know, when you're on a boat with a bunch of people that's sinking, guess what? Man, they start fighting. <laughs> you, you should watch the Titanic. They start... There ain't no women and children going first. I'm going first. You don't care who's. Uh-uh. You say, no, me and my, my kids is going first. I don't care about your family. Amen. It's only on the Titanic that they still playing the violin. Well, where I come from, them violin players would have, they'd have walked all in front of all of you. Conrad and all his kids. Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 17. Here's how we start doing the new wine strut. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. First, you stop walking like other Gentiles walk. Yeah. How do other Gentiles walk? He's getting ready to tell you. In the vanity of their mind. They walk according to how their mind think. You know, I, you know, I'm illustrative, and I started to do it, and I didn't get a chance to, but if, if I could, here's what I was going to do, because this, I believe, how the Spirit want me to do. If I had, if I had it my way, I would have put down maybe some silver, some silver pads, and then I would have put some black pads over here, and maybe some other color over here. And the way it works in the Spirit is that when you walk in the spirit, say if all the spirit pads were silver, you're supposed to stay with the silver pads no matter what happened. People talk about you. You ain't supposed to say, well, shoot, I'm in my feelings. I'm going to walk in the black pads. You stay on the spirit pads. Some of y'all ain't old enough, thank you, to play Twister. But no matter if, you, if, if people, people, people get... Uh, uh, you have financial problems, you don't say, oh, shoot, get nervous, let me get over in the black pad. No, yeah. you, you keep walking on the silver pads. Yeah. Your spouse leave you, you don't say, oh, shoot, I got to fix this. Let, let me get over on the, no. You stay with the, the silver, you, you, you play by the numbers. Yeah. It, it's simple. It's in the word. But what do we do? <laughs> we Christians, Sunday morning we do, we own the, we own the spirit. But my God, let a problem come. Oh, shucks. That ain't how you do the new wine strut. You stay with the spirit. And when, when, you, when you were shaken in your faith, you just stay right there. I don't care what them other numbers, them other colors is calling. Yeah. Come over here. Yeah, you, God, bless them that use the common sense. You know, all that. God, help them that help themselves. You know, you be tempted. Get out the boat. Huh? God, no. God, give you good sense now. Uh, you know, all that. Mm-mm. 
You stay right here. You be still and see the salvation of the Lord. We all been there. When it gets rough, you got health issues. The doctor's over here telling you, you're going to die. Ain't got but six months. You stay. You stay with this. Sometimes you're about to do the split. Lord, don't let me do it here. <laughs> you're in between words. Y'all know to hold me up. Come get me. You're in between words. Sometimes you step off more than you can handle. You know what I'm saying? But we all been there. We get there. When we're walking in the spirit, walking in the spirit ain't over here, walking in my feelings. Oh, I feel like God going to help me. They ain't going to be all right. This sinking saying. You got to get back over in the word. Because my word is spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. And life. So the first thing you do, don't walk like other Gentiles. Other people. Most of us don't hang out with a whole lot of Jewish people every day. Can you say amen? Maybe one or two. So he's telling you, don't walk like other people that are your race. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Don't walk like other people that are your color. Don't be trying to be your color. And I'm saying it the nice way. So go ahead and be a sellout. That's what it said. Look at it. They walk in the vanity of their mind. What else? They have their understanding darkened. Your people. Your skin color. Yeah. Being alienated from the life of God through what? They're ignorant. He, he don't care about the fact, <laughs> your people, that's in them. They're alienated, meaning they're from a whole other planet, and it ain't the kingdom of heaven. He's getting real here. He says because of the ignorance that's in them. Paul wasn't scared of y'all. He's saying your people, if they're not changed, are ignorant. I'm just reading it right off the page. He says, because of the blindness of their heart. He says, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness. And I, I, I got definition. A, a person, a manner, a gesture, feelings, or revealing overtly, often offensive sexual desire. He's saying, don't be like your people who get along a lot through offensive sexual desire. Man, he must hang out in your part of America. He says, uh, to work uncleanness, morally, spiritual unpureness, by contact, dirty, filthy, infected, Prohibited. That's what uh, uh, uncleanness means. It means moral, pure, uh, uh, spiritual impureness by contact. Dirty. I'm, this is this is the Apostle Paul talking. See, if you're gonna do the the, the spiritual new wine strut, you gotta work at getting away from other Gentile. Ways of thinking because. Then he says, who do it with greediness, having a great desire for wealth and possessions, strong drink and food. That's what greediness is. He's saying, pay attention to your people, which is the greatest downfall for any person to be a Christian, his, his or her culture. 
Man, I ain't never seen y'all this excited when I preach and teach. <laughs> if you want to walk in the spirit, these are some of the things you have to avoid. This is what makes people talk about you and say you think you're better than us now. But these are the things you have to pay attention to. Because here's where soul ties come from and ties of the flesh. Yeah. Here's why our churches are so segregated and the only people that we try to worship with is people our same color. Then he says in verse 20, I'm, just look at the book. But you have not so learned Christ. Christ didn't teach you that. He says, if so be that you have heard him. In other words, the way you acted, you may not have even heard who Christ is. Yeah. And have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Okay. He says in verse 22, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. If you want to do the spirit walk, walk in the spirit, be with Jesus, you got to put off the old conversation, the old way conversation old man he's not just talking words conversation means how you think the vanity of your mind how you walk how you act because he says it look at it it's up there which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust in other words if you just try to be your color it doesn't matter whether you're white or black blue or green if you just try to be clannish it's corrupt can't nobody come in, can't nobody. That's what he's saying. Christ isn't that way. It's deceitful and it's lustful. 23, but be renewed in the spirit of your mind. This is why people can't grow and walk in the spirit. Be, you got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The spirit of your mind, not your stomach, not your gut, not uh, uh, hot flashes. The spirit of your mind. Because if you don't, your mind is vain. It has vanity. All of us. Educated minds. Minds that pass the bar exam. Minds that got a degree from the college. Minds that been to seminary. Minds that went to the local college, the junior college. You've got to. Has nothing to do with the spirit. Don't shout me down. I know this is exciting, isn't it? I see y'all nodding and carrying on. <laughs> Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. And yet most people serve God from the, ble from the belly. From the field. But look at your Bible here. I'm just trying to help you. You probably haven't been in the scriptures this much in a few days. So I'm just trying to help you here. Verse 24, and that you put on the new man. Who's the new man? Who's the new man? Spirit of the Lord. It's not new clothes. It's not a new haircut. It's not a new nail job. It's not a new, you know, facelift. You know, nip and tuck here, there. You know, go to the surgeon and <clears throat> have the stomach tucked away. <coughs> have the front part cut down. Add it on to nose job. It ain't all that, y'all. That's the flesh. I ain't saying nothing wrong with that, but that don't make you new. The new man is a spirit man. He says, put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Not pretend, not fake. The new man. When we ask the Spirit to teach us and, and help us to put on the new man, the new man, if he's new today, he can be renewed again tomorrow. He's ever becoming a new man. That's why no man can know you, who you really are, when you're in Christ Jesus. Jesus says, I'm like the wind. The wind, it comes. You don't know where, it, where it's coming from. You don't know where it's going. We are so predictable in the flesh. 
You know how people going to act. You know if I say this, this is what they're going to say. If I do this, you, you, can, you can time your clock. Here they how they going to act. Here they how they going to do. Because they're in the flesh. They live in the flesh. They're going to die in the flesh. You can set your watch by them. If I don't show up at this time, they're going to ask me, where you been? You know what I'm saying? If you don't do this, where you going? But when you're in the spirit, see? So you have a new man inside of you. A new man. And just because you, you, you experienced that new man today, there's another new man in there. And there's another new man in there. And there's another new man in there, young people. There's another new man in there. You, you, just, you, just, you just keep putting on the new man. And what religion has told you that you're good enough because everybody approves of you. Your mama like you, your, your husband like you, your daddy like you, your mama. Uh, and then everybody approves of you. And, and you get to enjoy your shine. People appreciate you. Apply. Oh, what a great, what a great. And you bash in that. But, but that's, that's not how it goes. Yeah. And the spirit is just standing off like saying, go ahead and receive the accolades of man. But there's a new man in you. But then you'll find out that the slightest misstep and they'll start throwing stones at you. They'll find fault with you. Crucify him. Crucify him. The same people that says, you know, ran after him and say, you're going to be our king. But the same people says, we, you're not going to be our king. Crucify him. See? You got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind day by day. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Look here. In uh, verse 25, he said, wherefore, put away lying. Lying or any perception. Mm -hmm. Any pretense of the truth. A, a half truth is a lie. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you try to act like you did one thing, said one thing, you was one place, but you really was another place. However, it's all a lie. A perception, a misperception is a lie. When you try to fake somebody out, when you, it's a lie. Put away lying. You know, Ananias and Sapphira, they lied to God, which was the Holy Ghost. He said to him, you know, Ananias and Sapphira, you didn't just lie to man, you lied to God. You could have kept all the money. You didn't have to come up here talking about, I gave it all. We sold all the land. We just gave me an old and a nice. We, we the biggest givers up in this church. You know, you ain't do all that. Yeah. All you do is come up here and, and throw a few dollars and go on about your business. But you come up here and lying and everything, but you lied to God. Yeah. And they died. Yeah. See? So he says, if you want to walk in the spirit, or do the new wine strut, amen, I'm just trying to make it interesting for you. You have to put away lying and speak every man truth with his neighbor. If you can't say the truth, shut up. Amen. For we are members, it should be uh, my notes, only one of another. Proverbs 6 and 16. 6 and 16 says, there are 16. Turn to Proverbs 6 and 16, quickly. Proverbs 6 and 16. Get your Bible. Y'all should have brought a Bible now. Make sure the preacher telling the truth. Yeah. Telling the truth. You know, we get accused of saying stuff. And he said, okay, well, we're going to let the Lord say it tonight. Yeah. Can't play with everybody's kids. What my mama them used to say. I don't play with everybody's kids, so I'm gonna quit playing with God's kids. Yeah. Let's tell them the truth. Yeah. Proverbs 6 and 16. There are six things that the Lord hates. Now read this. Six things that he hates, yeah. and a seventh that is sold to test. He hates a proud look. You can't walk in the spirit, you can't have new wine constantly, and have a proud look about you. Whatever that look like to you, a proud look. Yeah. You got to work on it. Look in the mirror. When you're brushing your teeth, work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Something wrong with you. Hold your eyes. What that look like? I don't know. You can't have it. The Lord don't like it. 
Now, maybe somebody misreading you. Look it up. Now, when a guy got it, he looked like a gay guy. Yeah. You get your slap and beat up, player. You look at no man with a haughty eye. You're going to ask you, in roll, what you're looking at. Yeah. Women get to do that, and y'all get to get away with that cat stuff. Mm. We don't. But the Lord hates a haughty ass and a lying tongue. Why? Because God is the truth. Jesus is the truth. And hands that shed innocent blood. Put your hands on doing something. He hates it. And a heart that devises wicked schemes. You plotting. You scheming. Feet that run quickly are quick to run to evil. And a false witness who pours out lies. Somebody that said they, they heard something, they saw something, or, or they pouring out lies. And that's why it's not good if somebody tell you something if you don't know the truth. And sometimes it's a half truth. Sometimes it's a misperception. Sometimes it ain't all the truth. Sometimes, and let me tell you exactly what it is. Give me a piece of paper here. Give me a piece of paper. Bring that one closer. Sometimes... This the spirit, and the spirit say, this right here, speak every man the truth, but this right here is a half truth. This is a half truth. It's enough truth in here to make you take a half step, but it's like, it's like that's a boat and this a boat. But what happens with boats? They keep moving and you finna do the split, and you can't swim. So you best to stay with the whole truth Amen. and let that half truth Amen. float on, Amen. float on. on. That's how we get in trouble and get out of the spirit. When you just stick with the truth that you know, Amen. that God is good, Amen. he loved me, Amen. he loved you, Amen. he loved everybody. Jesus loved the little children. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. And stick with the truth. I don't want no, I don't want no half truth. I don't need no half truth. I don't want no, I mean, you, you just got to, you just got to do that, man. Amen. Don't need no maybes. Amen. Don't want nothing that seem like sinking ground. I ain't finna build my life on it. I ain't finna build my marriage on it. I ain't finna build my friendship on it. I ain't finna build my church on it. You hear me? Amen. I ain't finna start my business on it. Amen. All I know is what God told me. Right. Now, he may have told you something, and you seeing something different. But now, you're going to have to know him, know the spirit for yourself. Amen. Work with me there, Lawrence. You're going to have to know him for yourself. Because if somebody over here doubting, and they standing on half-truths, why are you going to give up your whole truth to go stand with somebody on a half a truth? Amen. Why you always got to be led by somebody on, other than the spirit? That's, good. That's, good. that's why you got to know the spirit for yourself. Amen. Know him for Amen. yourself. And you can't know him if you don't spend time in his word. Because anybody can get you off. That's why they say, Jesus said, if they tell you that Jesus is over in the desert, don't go. Amen. You got to know the word for yourself. And so when you get me out over here and there's anger, there's lies, there's bitterness, I know I ain't supposed to be there. Because first of all, God is peace. There's going to be peace in my soul. If a bunch of y'all over here and y'all got torches in your hand, got your gats on your side, I know I ain't supposed to be with you. And that's how you know. That's how you know. Because the scripture tell you what love is. If you're over here and everybody nervous, the scripture tell you to, to forgive. Yeah. You over here, everybody's finding fault. Y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing. Right. You over here and everybody finding fault. I don't care what they've done. You over here because Jesus died on the cross for every one of us scoundrels. Yeah. Every last one of us crucified him. And if you're over here and everybody talking about who did what and how they did it, then we in the wrong daggone boat. 
Forgive one another. Love one another. Amen. I need to get out that boat because that boat going to sink. Yes. And if you're the captain of that boat, you sinking first. You got to walk in the spirit. And there's three, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And the way the spirit operates first, you got to love God with all your heart, God with all your soul, and love your neighbor. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You, you don't want to do the new wine strut because you got to learn to walk in the spirit. You got to walk in the spirit. He walks in love. The reason why Jesus rebuked the Pharisees and them, because they couldn't walk in love. When you want to keep this new wine in you, you'll walk past a whole bunch of church mess. You will go in the other room and let your kids have a whole house. <laughs> Long as they don't burn your room down. <laughs> you be trying to get your God on, you'll say, I'm trying to get God tonight. Now, if you smell some smoke, you might go out there and, but, you know, come on, Lord, I'm hurrying up to be doing this. Let's do the new wine strut. Amen. 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 Let's do the new wine strut. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it ain't up there. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You remember the picture? <laughs> and you notice she wasn't running, was she? You ain't got to run to do it. That's our problem. We want to run and do it. Look at here. Let's look at uh, verse 26. I just want to show you how you do the new wine strut. Because these were religious people. They want to try to do it, but they can't, they can't do uh, they, 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 can't, they can't do it. Other Gentiles can't do it. You can't help what color he is. <laughs> You're a Gentile. But I'm determined to do the new wine strut. I want to keep my joy. Shoot, man, if I lay on my face all day, you think I'm going to let you come in there and step on me and make me? You know what I'm saying? I'll get in my car and drive off. I'll see y'all tomorrow just to hold on to my stuff. Y'all got, got to have socialites to, get, to have God, man. 